transvaginal duplex sonography is performed with the patient lying on an examination couch with head and torso elevated to 45 degrees. The transducer enters the vagina in longitudinal plane to demonstrate the uterus, seen here with an IUCD in situ. The transducer is rotated through 90 degrees to obtain a coronal view. Note the varices lying to the right and left of the uterus. The transducer is angled into the left lateral fornix where the left internal iliac vein can be seen adjacent to the lateral side wall of the pelvis, with varices lying medially. The transducer can be seen here following the path of the internal iliac vein with a small portion of the ovarian vein seen medial to it. Colour flow Doppler and Valsalva are used to assess reflux. Here we observe gross reflux in varices adjacent to the internal iliac vein with moderate reflux in the internal iliac vein itself. As the transducer is moved more medially, gross reflux can be seen in the left ovarian vein varices and the left ovarian vein can be seen traversing the left ovary. The transducer is angled into the right lateral fornix where the right internal iliac vein can be seen on the lateral side wall of the pelvis. On colour flow and valsalva, gross reflux is seen in the right internal iliac vein and associated varices. As the internal iliac vein is viewed deeper into the pelvis, moderate reflux can be seen in the internal iliac vein. There is no reflux seen in the right ovarian vein territory. The transducer is angled into the anterior fornix. The urethra can be seen centrally, ringed by grossly refluxing varices. The transducer is angled into the posterior fornix to delineate the anal area and grossly refluxing perianal veins and small hemorrhoids can be observed. Translabial imaging identifies large labial varices which display gross reflux. This patient had symptoms of pelvic congestion with irritable bladder and bowel and small hemorrhoids and gross symptoms within the labial veins. 